Okay, so this is the historical thing. There is no obvious fracture, all fractures are microscopical. There are multiple microscopical fractures and sometimes it is associated with a buccal fracture which we know as a torus. So let us see uh, what is plastic deformation. So when you bend a spring, there is some deformation but it comes back. But when you give more pressure, the deformation becomes abnormal. So this is elastic deformation. If you leave the force, it comes back. But when you give more force, when it does not come back to its original place, it's known as plastic deformation. That is what we are talking about. So in the real life, this is the suspension breach. And when that suspension breaks, it leads to fracture. And this fracture, we call it as a plastic deformation. Bowing of the fracture of the forearm was way back described uh, uh, earlier and there is a very limited literature and there are a handful of paper describing this. This paper which contained only 11 patients with average follow up of 80 months, initial diagnosis were missed, 3 was missed, 9 patients, some malalignment was accepted and what they concluded is after 6 years remodeling is generally less. So we need to be more careful. Reduction is required for those patients who are more than six years old and in which there's a cosmetically visible deformity or when there's angulation more than 10 degree. This forearm deformity as was mentioned earlier by Sheetal that if there's a ulnar deformity, it will be more grossly bad looking bad. It will be odd looking and you need to uh, do something about it. This is a plastic deformation of both bones but ulna is more prominent here. Parents are concerned. And this is how this child was manipulated over a large rover or sustained under general anesthesia. And I could straighten and overcorrect the deformity, which was maintained like this in a plaster and did well. Left forearm deformity, female seven years. This is how it, it, was, it looked like there was an ulnar lateral bowing. And this is how the amount of bowing was there. It was old, about three days old. I gave a try. It, it did improve, but it did not 100% improve, but ultimately the functional result was good. This was a three-week-old uh, deformity in an adolescent girl. And at this point of time, it is very difficult to correct, so we could do, did not do anything, but she initially had some rotational uh, restriction, which was not functionally disabling, but had this been corrected on day one, she would have got better results. 14-year-old male treated on an OPD basis, this was persistent, nothing was done for this and it, it remained after three months like that. It remained even after six months, though the radius was uh, remodeling very well, the ulna did not remodel because there were multiple fractures and you do not expect mid-shaft to remodel well, especially when there is an angulation. So in the plastic deformation, it's an aesthetically or functionally unacceptable angular deformity, should be manipulated under general anesthesia. Strong force, of course you will not be able to measure the amount of force, but it should be strong yet gentle, so you don't want to break the bone depending on the age of the child. It should be over a couple of minutes and then it should be uh, protected by uh, very well molded plaster. Thank you very much.